I'm not going to pretend again that I speak Vietnamese because I think by now you've got to figure it out that I don't. And besides, this one has no English on the back. There's no English on this package anywhere. Uh, I, I can make out that this is the MK Company Model 10N. And insofar as the rest of this, other than this being uh, made in Hanoi, there's nothing about it that I can guarantee. Uh, there are all kinds of seals on it here. It does say ISO 9000, so this is this probably the most popular lock here. Uh, you see, I've seen these all over um, uh, storefronts. They have these metal grates that close off the very narrow storefronts in the markets, and these are very popular lock to uh, to secure those. Other than that, if you really have to have one of these, I suppose you can get somebody to translate this for you and. Uh, there's all the information I think you need to call these this company up. Uh, this lock, although it's brand new, um, the security sticker on it, I didn't tear this, this is how it came. Uh, it, you can see it, it looks like some insect has eaten away at this, like maybe they were after the adhesive or something, I don't know if it was flies or roaches or whatever, but they ate right through and broke the seal, it doesn't really matter I think. This is not a Medico, you will probably very quickly discover. Um, there you go, it is a, they do have this MK verification holographic symbol, which is probably worth more than I paid for this lock. Uh, you can very faintly see engraved, it is the company name, MK Company in Hanoi. Uh, I would think that this got caught in a paint fight looking at the paint job, but then as I just glanced over at the box again, I noticed that that's the way it's supposed to look. So I guess somebody's paid a lot of money to splatter these randomly with uh, some kind of silver paint. Uh, let's, uh, it is a, let's see what we got here. It is a six pinner, it looks like. Better put that up there. So hopefully there's some security pins in it. Let's find out. First, let's make sure it works, because I've learned a lot of things here don't work quite as advertised. And it does work. I'm not even sure that was locked when we started, and it is. So it does lock. It does open. So the basic engineering is there for a good lock. It probably is pretty going to be a difficult pick, because all the storefronts use these things. So let's take a look first. It is a miniature Y1, looks like a Y11 keyway, pretty small one, a bit tight to get into. I'll put the medium tension wrench in the bottom there, looks like it's going to work. And let's see, what do you want to do first? Why don't we, uh, let's just try first to find out if we're going to have security pins or see if we can get a fault set. So I'm just going to take a fake Bogota, just a ripple rake, and I'm thinking it's pretty, pretty rough in there. I can, t oh, well. I was going to say it felt rough, there, like there was a lot of grit or something, but let's, let's make sure it's open. It is. Okay. Let's try that again. It might, I might not have completely locked that. I can't believe that popped so quick. All right, let's begin this again. All right, that's more like it. Let's see if we can get us a false set out of it. If I can get the pick in. I'm still feeling that real gritty whatever it was, and there we go. I guess I did pick it the first time. All right, I raked it. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna go rob some stores tonight because I know there's about a hundred of these in the market. All right, well, just for fun, let's keep, continue with our quest here. Um, I'm trying to pick. Let's, uh, let's try to zip it. I mean, we, we stroked that other one open. Let's see if we can perhaps zip this thing. And, of course, we can. All right. Let's try to rock it, just for something different here. I can't tell you how discouraging this is. This is a high security lock by the local definition. Let's, let's try it again. I'm gonna put my pick in backwards, and I'm just gonna rock it. And thank God, finally, I figured if we do something, we get some resistance out of this thing. All right, maybe it's not rakeable by the back of a pick. I mean, or a cigarette butt. It might resist a cigarette butt. <laughs> All right, give it one more shot. Why not? And crap. <laughs> I shouldn't have given it the second try. So that opened. 
I'm not going to insult you with any further analysis of this MK. Uh, 10N lock, but truly, if you decide you need to secure something valuable, this is not the one to use. Anyway, I'm um, sorry for wasting your time with this piece of garbage. Thank you for your time. Everybody stay safe and uh, stay legal.